Joined now by our CEO here on Newsmax TV, Chris Reddy. Sir, thanks for making the time. Great to be on with you, Chris. Before we get to the economics and the impact there, uh, thereof, I want to get your take on, on media coverage. It has been to my amazement that the, the vast majority of the press has been fixated on protecting China, even consumed with what the president calls the virus. What's your take? Chris, one of the most important decisions that were made ever since this virus came out about on the world stage starting last December was the president's decision to stop passenger traffic and airline traffic to China. And that was done back in January, early February of this year. Had he not made that decision, we'd be in a far worse uh, situation today. He got roundly criticized by the media at the time for doing that. Joe Biden called him a xenophobe, a racist, for doing that. So they have a convenient way of describing um, what it, the situation is and the decision-making process that he has had throughout this thing. They don't give him any credit when there's key decisions made. Um, this thing has caught everyone uh, by surprise. I think he's moved with even Governor Cuomo, Governor Newsom of California has praised him. But there's a lot of people in the media, a lot of Democratic officials, Governor Prisker of uh, Illinois, Mayor de Blasio, they clearly want to use this for political purposes. And I think most Americans see what the president is doing, that he's trying hard to, to deal with this problem, and they're not giving him a break. You no, know, not giving a break, and they're not rep reporting fairly. As a matter of fact, it came out in the L.A. Times today that some of these protective masks, uh, the supply had been depleted by President Obama's administration, he never bothered to replenish them. But nobody wants to talk about that. Nobody wants to go over that. Well, Look, the economic impact, I think, is very serious here. And there are a lot of questions being asked as to whether or not shuttering whole sectors of the economy is the wisest thing to do. What do you think? You, well, you mentioned, Chris, the L.A. Times. There's a great story in the L.A. Times. We have a link about the story on Newsmax.com right now. Michael Levitt who's a Nobel laureate. He's a biophysicist from Stanford. He is credited with accurately predicting what was going to happen with China. He predicted that their crisis would end a lot sooner than anyone else believed, and that happened. He is saying openly that we have this pretty much contained right now, that the rate of spread is going to begin to drop, that the biggest fear we right, have right now is panic which the media is pushing, and that if we do serious social distancing, which is what the president's been advocating, which the administration has, we're pretty much going to be safe. And I think we're hearing a lot of anecdotal evidence at Newsmax that the number of people coming into hospitals and emergency rooms, especially in New York, is not as severe as they thought it would be. And I think it's the social distancing that the president pushed for uh, two weeks ago that's paying off.